Let's face it, owning a home today sucks. 12 different accounts to pay your bills, trying to keep up with documents, filing insurance claims, it's all a big hassle. Grease fires, plumbing leaks, toilet overflows, this and that and that and this. We can all use a little bit of help. So what's your home plan? Sign up for home plans today and get a little bit of help managing your home. It's home management made simple. Sign up at joinhomeplan.com. I didn't learn about HBCUs growing up because I watched TV and see. I'm not sure that everything on TV is real, but I know that shit real enough. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, damn, I would have, I would have fucking loved to go down to a HBCU. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know Harris was HBCU. I thought it was a teacher school. <laughs> I Straight up, yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't like. I don't remember HBCUs being like they were not. Yeah, like I like I heard of Lincoln back then, but they never made Lincoln sound like it was like dope. Yeah, you just say, oh, you go past Lincoln and get to Mizzou. <laughs> it was never like <laughs> Lincoln's is HBCU that Einstein stopped at the time. Like you didn't know the yeah. value of being. I was like, I just thought it was just the school that was in just before you get to Mizzou. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. But I know that shit looked litty as a motherfucker. And it's straight litty. Yeah. And yeah. I'm so mad because you can just, I was watching, uh, what was I watching? All American. And they had went down there for a weekend trip. Mm-hmm. And Jordan, he a mixed kid. Uh huh. And he don't know black, yeah. You know what I'm saying, yeah, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and his sister, you know, she don't know black. Their mm-hmm. daddy was black, but they lived in these white communities, so they never experienced black people. Mm-hmm. And honestly, that's how I feel. You dig yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I moved out of the the hood to be with white folks to go to school mm-hmm. so I could graduate, right? But you know, like I was doing what was best for me. But had my mama said, "Oh shit," or she knew, you know, something more. Like, oh, shit, let's send him to this school and make it better. Yeah. No, nah, it like, was none of that. It was about finishing the race, not yeah. the quality of the race. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. The cultural part of it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't either. So. Yeah. Man, I went to Brentwood, and I didn't. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> how y'all doing? <laughs> uh, I hate it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how I felt about it, too. Like, I went to Brentwood. I don't remember. Like, I remember. Like HBCUs coming through, but like it just yep. wasn't. It didn't stick. Like yep. the schools to stick to was like, okay, you go to Mizzou or uh-huh. you go to everybody K-State wanted these names. Or, yeah. I don't know. Right. I, I, I think I think if you if you had like relatives that went to them, yeah, then you have a better idea of the uh-huh. value of the homecoming yep. and all the the cultural stuff you kids and, can't get at a, missed, at a predominantly white institution. PWI fucking yeah. missed it, bro. Yeah. Missed every little yeah. bit about it, bro. Yeah. Because you see it, I mean, regardless if it, it isn't what it was today or it isn't what it is today, right? Mm-hmm. But still, the the knowledge that you'll get, the different mindset that you'll get just by being able to have that knowledge, mm-hmm. you know, from, from back there. Because guess what? In school, they have basically told you about every white inventor or what they did. Mm-hmm. Give me... One time that I can remember, we talked about black people. Um, during February, we talked about uh, Rosa Parks, Martin King, uh, uh, Carvin. We got peanuts. one. We got one. We got one fucking month, and this is not where month. I was trying to go it, with that. It, but they didn't give you an okay, like the one that no. was pissed off at the end. They gave you the one with the speech. No, no, no. Yeah. You didn't get the end. He uh, was like, "Hold on, this is. I might have put y'all in the wrong house. <laughs> I might have fucked up." <laughs> Come to think of it, I fucking we was fine where we was at. I'm fuck them dead. motherfuckers. We should have stayed where the fuck we was at. God damn it. Sorry, y'all. This My bad. Fucking dude. This dude is so Sorry. Dope. I don't get that with you because I went too far. I don't want people pissed. <laughs> but I'm sorry we are going. My bad. This dude is See so you at the crossroads. Wait, 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 you won't be lonely. <laughs> See you at the crossroads. You won't be lonely. <laughs> and no one can... <laughs> And no one can speak about being at the height of the cocaine epidemic than myself. Uh, <laughs> I was moving. I was. Ooh, I was. Child. I was ghosts. <laughs> <Ooh, child. laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my! I Lord. was a distro, and then towards the end of college, at Umsel, 
Um, and I think I think another thing I never went to like I was never like a student student. I was I was a working student. Like I never was like I'm going to school all day. It's like no, right. okay, I'm yeah, going to we school. Didn't have that. Then I'm going to work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some shit at work. Like I never had that. So even that. The value of going to a JUCO for a couple of years, and getting around like yep. adults, like you, like Sharice when I had her on, like I met, she grown. Yeah, I met her at at uh, Forest Park was on like I don't know what class, some liberal arts class was at nighttime. But like, I was like, cool, bunch of adults, young people. See who, who mama cooking later on. See what we gonna do here. I'm, I'm glad everybody trying, you know, and, and communicating with people. Like, All right, well, we can hang out after class. Let's my, do my best learning. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know, I dabble and dabble, but you know, I was, I was killing out here. And then, like a black man in college, they love that shit. Ooh, you in school? Man. And it's like a dentist, I'm in school and in your mouth. Sorry. Whoa. That was a hub, hub Holy of life ago. Shit. I have found, I have found I, peace. There's viewers that, <laughs> woo, child. I thought, <laughs> I thought I was going to heaven. That's oh, not, that's boy, not the life you done heaven. fucked that up. Mm-hmm. You done, mm-hmm. you done fucked mm-hmm. that all the way up, boy. Mm-hmm. Good lord. Mm-hmm. I can't listen. Let let's let's uh. The point is, <laughs> what's the point? that? I wish I like. I wish I had knew the option of what. I don't know. Like I, don't, I guess I can't say that because she. How, you don't know what you don't know. My mom didn't go to school. Like, how would I've known that? I didn't have no cousins. That's what I'm or, saying. Yeah, me either. How would I, only thing I know was like she wasn't even trying to even hear about like. Could you help me pay? Nah, nigga. Mm-mm. You figured it out. Like I am a child. Well, I don't know what the fuck does shit mean. And then I was like, uh, are you married? No. Do you have any kids? No. You can't get no. You got to wait till you a certain age to be yeah. a, a independent. I was like, she ain't paying for this shit. Like, yeah. I, y'all make me use her tax records because uh-huh. I'm not of age. Then you say, because yeah. you ain't got no babies on the way or nobody's husband, I can't get no, no Pell Grant. I, I, I don't want to sell shit. drugs. <laughs> I got that shit because my mama didn't make shit. My mama sold drugs. Why just sit on his one lap? I'm sorry. My mama sold drugs, bro. Like, let me tell you, this is the. This is. Are you Canaan? <laughs> what the fuck is we doing? Raising Canaan? Raising, raising RJ? Man, listen. I had fucking five other siblings to look after. Oh, yeah. And I'm telling you, we did some dirty shit. But, like, my mama didn't have. She didn't, she didn't have an education. Let's mm. see. My mama. I think she dropped out of school in sixth grade, which boy, I will Man. beat my daughter ass. Ooh. We're gonna get back to that later. Oh. But <clears throat> she had a sixth grade education. But let me tell you, for a woman with a sixth grade education, she had six kids who all had six diplomas. Yeah. So, I mean, just because you dumb don't mean your kids gotta be dumb. Right. Um, and yeah, we, we didn't get the chance to know about black history and what it meant with the HBCU. Y'all was just surviving. Y'all wasn't thriving. Yeah, yep. we was surviving like a motherfucker, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, to not have that, I just I just still feel bad because I would have loved to get that information back yeah. then. Like it would have been, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, we you never understood why are we in this situation? What we do, what we, you know, school never told you the facts, facts, not yeah, not the yeah, version yeah. you want you me to know, the, yeah. the so real version. We didn't, we didn't I would have learned about my fucking Black Wall Street before 2020. Mm-hmm. 20, 20. Okay, I don't, I, we, I don't know about Juneteenth before, yeah, uh, exactly. last year because that had been part of the, the honors curriculum. Not only that, you know, I hear about. I guess, I guess I listen to Breakfast Club so much, and Envy go, went to Hampton, okay, and then uh, I think uh, Charlemagne mom. Goes to, went to HBCU, so they always oh, HBCU talk. It's like, yeah, you it's it's a different it's it's a safe space. It is. You don't have to worry about shit. You had to worry about when you're out in the regular world. You can just Bruh. you can be what you are, be and you gonna you find your, your your they judging you strictly on your character for the most part. Uh huh. Because there ain't no there ain't, ain't no else. color. Yeah, dude. no, motherfucker. Who are you as a person? Now we will get some bullshit and do colorism, but overall. I mean, yeah. We gonna figure out how to be with each other based on the, and then we can learn how to love each other. Then when we leave this institution, now we can move as a unit. Say, oh yeah, you went there. Okay, you understand. I got. Whoo, okay, yeah. cool. And it means something ha- just to have that that experience. That oh, okay, there's, le- there's we're not a monolithic version of black people. There's a whole right. bunch of dope shit. Now yeah. I don't know if I would have went to like a Morehouse because I don't know if I'm going to all guy school. 
Yeah. I need something like a high, I need a Howard or something. Need, yeah, yeah. I need a co-ed <laughs> institution. I, I know, it's definitely got to be co-ed. Yeah, I, I, know, <laughs> I know, I know, spell across the street, but I need you in my. I need you next to my seat. <laughs> right, I need. Yeah, no, nah, I need a co-ed. Uh, yeah, I'm fucking dead. I that is co-ed, hilarious. Yeah. But I mean, but that that's true though, man. I I do feel some type of way about it, and I I'm glad that it's becoming something bigger today. Mm-hmm. Uh, because. If I mean, if we can get enough enough guys and girls to to really understand what our heritage is and what we mm-hmm. what we are about, I think your daughter is in a generation where they're not going to be they're, they're they're not shielded from nothing. They gonna, they know about what it is, what it ain't. Oh, yeah, um, and they're not. It's not. It won't be foreign to hear HBCU talk. Mm-hmm. HBCU is, is in the conversation all the time because, mm-hmm. like you know, Dion at Jackson State, all, like yeah. those people of of large caliber being those places bring the tension. They're bringing eyeballs to it. Like ESPN has to carry this shit now. Like yeah. not only they need the content, but like we are visual animals. Like you, I got to see some shit, right? <laughs> exactly. If I don't see nobody, Ohio State ain't shit. This ain't got us there. No, and none of no, this shit out of us. That ain't fuck shit. Fuck Dabo Sweeney. I hate no. Dabo Sweeney. <laughs> fucking passion. Point your name is Dabo fucking Sweeney. <laughs> fuck you think you are. <laughs> I ain't forgot about all you motherfuckers that uh, have something to say about Colin Kaepernick. All you coaches. Fuck you, Tommy Lasorda. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, Tommy Larusa. This is, what's this? Ain't Larusa fucking manager again in Chicago? Yeah, he's, he's Chicago. I'm so sick of fucking. <sighs> Listen, clearly that took a turn. He got he got into some shit right there. Uh, but I said Tommy Lasorda. Is he still alive? The, the, That's the Tony Larusa. Oh, bitch ass! I don't care if you said either, you bastard. <laughs> Fucking baseball. <laughs> wow, calm down. <laughs> Dabo, you fuck is Dabo? But no, nah, man, no. Nah, listen, that's uh, that's real spill though. I I wish that it was good. But yeah, my daughter, she's got, <clears throat> she's coming up with some shit and. I'm definitely gonna, you know, push, uh, mm-hmm. you know, push, you know, HBCU on her instead of something else. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, let me explain this. She called, well, her mama called me. <clears throat> this was like a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. And her mother says, Gianna called me racist. And I was like, what so i was like why why did she do that that was that was my that was my real first uh Mm -hmm. question it's like why did she do that i was like what was said Mm -hmm. she said that gianna had gotten she got in trouble and uh my baby mama says i told her i'm gonna make you my slave and she said Gianna called her racist and then she was <clears throat> spanked and sent to her room. So when she called me and told me this, I'm I'm on the phone. I'm like, um, so her her new baby daddy is Mexican. Mm-hmm. Okay, so clearly there's not you're you're not racist, but you said something racist, and for the fact that your daughter called you racist. And used it in the right form, uh, you should think something differently. So I I was like, okay, I'll talk to Gianna, but I had to hang up. I called my sister and I explained the story to her too. I was like, because I don't want to overreact because I already don't like my baby mama. Clearly, we fucking know that. Oh, I didn't like that baby mama. Like, no, you dig what I'm saying? So I gotta be prepared for a fight that I know that I'm right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. At, at least got some some back into. Yeah. So I called and I, I I talked to my sister and her friends, and that's like, all right, now she was right. I'm like, okay. So then I got and and come. Nah, you ain't right. Like that doesn't. You know what I mean? Regardless of what what you said was not right, because right. there was there was, especially at at such a time where. All of this fucking racism had been coming along, you know. It was insensitive. Yeah, it was very insensitive. But I will not to cut you off as I'm cutting you off. The conversation needs to be a deeper exploration on, on slavery because I don't want slavery things a black and white thing. It's deeper than right. that, right? Right. You know what I'm <clears> saying? <throat> so like, if I, if I think 
I'm thinking in your baby mama's mind, slavery, just like slave, just in general, not like Kunta Kinte slavery, but just right. slave of you fucked up. Yeah. You're but, going to jail. But, but a 10 year old don't know that. Right. She'll have a context. So it's a moment yes. to teach and say, yeah, I shouldn't have said that based because because that context is horrible. Yeah. Yeah. And nothing about slavery is ever good. It's ever great. But I didn't mean that version of it. I meant the version, the overall version that has no color. Just saying you fucked up. You owe me. And now you might. Your ass is mine type shit. Period. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't have to give it a title that has a whole line yeah. of conversation yeah, behind it. Can't, yeah. Cause we in a very like eyes open. Wait, motherfucker, this is an opportunity. So now I said I was wrong. I was insensitive of in me, but the version of slavery I was speaking about was not the version that you're thinking. But I'm, I see why you were thinking that. Yeah. And that's how I'm wrong as the as the adult and the parent. I shouldn't have used that word. I used that context because it's 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 a lot and it's never good. Well, let's have a deeper conversation about what slavery is beyond black and white. And let's really get into the context. You, yeah. you only you stuck on the version that's that's eat that's the, the the version that's more closest to you, but it's deeper than that. So let's fix all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I and I did have a talk uh with my daughter. I was like, Your mom's not racist. What she said was. In sense and, yeah, yeah. And we, you know, we have to understand that <clears throat> that's not what it is. Uh you were right, but you know, basically just telling her, you know, yeah, you were right, but you got to understand this is what it is. And yeah, I corrected, I corrected her in the best way that I know how, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I felt good about that because she understood. So, yeah. but it's just shit like that, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it's still just shit like that, regardless of if your boyfriend is a a, min- a minority. Also, like if your ten year old child has something different to say i think that's a problem uh because it's a price fuck out of me i tell mm-hmm. you when she used it in the right context of you know i was like oh mm-hmm. shit yeah understanding yeah. the world we in at the level mm-hmm. i can see how she would jump to that conclusion mm-hmm. <laughs> i get it mother or not because this motherfucker <laughs> they ain't, ain't is older than that that would jump to the same conclusion and and definitely know Deeper forms of slavery, but I yeah. see, hey, as low as common than I be, I get it. Yeah. I'd have jumped on that one too if I was 10. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, man. So I don't know. Like, I just, I feel that uh, going through with with just really one side of the story of, of you know, history mm-hmm. is kind of, it's kind of latest, you know, Civilization is big. It's like, you know, I've been so enamored with all these Afghanistan uh, leaving stories. And it's like, I just think of all the moments in history where you can't, every every civilization, everything, we, everything we're doing, we believe in whatever this is. We believe in what America is. We believe in this constitution. We believe as a people in this concept. People, you can't kill ideas. You only can kill people. But ideas will always continue if the idea gives, has some weight, weight to it. Yeah. So just because you was chilling in some place getting paid for 20 years, y'all think once y'all y'all don't live here. Once eventually y'all gonna have to either be here forever or y'all gonna have to leave. When y'all do, guess where I'm gonna be? Waiting for you to leave. And I'm right back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm like, in some of them, you know, some of them stories, you know, different different platforms, different versions of it. But like you're hearing the women like really, you know, taking it personal. Like, this is my country, this is my dream. Like, yeah, they sold you some white people sold you some bullshit, didn't they? <laughs> Back again, white male leadership did it again, huh? That, that, that <laughs> you sold y'all some shit. You let so Dick bad, Cheney and some, Bush. You got yeah. fucked by Dick Cheney and a Bush. Yep, <laughs> and that 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 goes together well, <laughs> don't it? I said, man, this this game, this civilization game is nasty. Like I it, said, I feel bad for him. Like, yeah, that that situation in that part of the world has going to be what it is before us and after. That's the cradle of civilization. Depends on the version that you are into, but that stuff they got between them ain't got nothing to do with us. They gonna do that regardless. Yeah, we can't change people. They gotta believe in something. Y'all surprised the president? Like, oh, that niggas come. We out here. I'm out here. Like, I'm going. I'm going to a stand. Pakistan, Pakistan, whatever stand. I'm <laughs> out of here, buddy. I'm standing out I'm of leaving, this. I'm leaving Afghanistan. <laughs> so y'all surprised that the president left, <laughs> and then everybody else quit their job. But I quit too. Who he got? I fuck this fucking. Oh, I'm working here no more. <laughs> y'all leaving. What the fuck I'm gonna do? <laughs> uh, like, yeah. Uh, I fighting. All right, well, I work for y'all now. Yeah, yeah. Nigga said, I'm going to, to a stand. I said, duh. Like, that's how that bro. works. 
That's that's something crazy. It was never gonna work. We went there for the wrong reasons. We did all the whole process was wrong. Russia got fucked in Afghanistan. Every problem we had, we created. The Bin Ladens, South America, the border problem. CIA. <laughs> C. <laughs> Hey, sir, listen. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Wait. Let's let's unget his face. You can't just call him out like that. <laughs> Why are you so concerned in the face? <laughs> I ain't hear nothing. <laughs> I I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. And I damn sure ain't said nothing. Let me get, let me get a, let me Why? Get Why would now. you even call them my like that? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, listen, if they think that you got any type of information or or uh, informational structures to, to say and grab some people to help them know your word, guess what? Your ass is dead. <laughs> And you dead, you dead, and it's gonna make you. It's gonna make you look like you did it yourself, or it was accidental. Wait, I because can, I can be the suicide. I'm shot three times in the head. What? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm telling you, they gonna leave the perfect note. Everything is everything, motherfucker. It'll be a car crash, and a motherfucker just gone. And there ain't nothing on the car that hits you. But you dead. But there ain't another driver in the motherfucker. So wait a minute. Sir, don't ever call out the CIA. You got a better chance of calling out the FBI. They weak. <laughs> but don't. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, my Lord. Listen, don't call out the CIA. And I'm just saying, man. Be, be, <laughs> it's just, it's deeper than what they tell you, man. If Sir, a, it's always going to be deep, white, deeper than man, what they if say. If a white man in charge, you might as well get ready for some bullshit. It's, it's not going to end well for nobody but the think, white man. Why do you think all these fucking white women come into black guys? I wish they, they always, when I put my black shit, they come extra hard. I said, hey, white lady, look at this. This is leave me alone. Oh, yeah, this is you, what I'm into, she, Juneteenth. She, she in the, she in the oh, black power. They, they trying to win. So oh. I'm going to corrupt this man. Oh. She went for me, Becky. That's this, I'm off the narcotic. Yeah, they trying to come she extra devil. hard. They know you trying to keep off the drugs. Oh, my God. You better stop. I'm telling they you. They busting like. Listen, I know. I fucked that up. There is. <laughs> That's all you like black women, you say, huh? Black love? Uh, you think so, huh? Oh, you leave it to white pussy. I said, oh why, no. I said, why no. are you why are you I such a no. bad person? Like who hurt you? Like, who hurt you? Which one of them devils did it to you? Lies, 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 lies. <laughs> Listen. When I see a white woman, I just see this. Let me stop playing. I love you. Why you why you? I'm playing. I love y'all. Y'all really hurt him. Y'all know that? No, he is man. really hurt. <clears throat> no, nah, man. He don't just... wanna he don't wanna do nothing with no white girl no more. <laughs> you know. that's not true. I almost I almost had a I almost had a moment. I almost I almost, I almost He back. almost came back. Till I fucked up. I told him. <laughs> I fucked that up. Thank God. Thank God. I, almost, I was finna yeah. have it. Shit, shit happens. Yeah. Shit it, happens. it didn't need it's to. Okay. I was trying to help out, but guess what? Oh, what? All right. <laughs> well, one more time. Oh, no, on, that <laughs> on that note, uh, <laughs> guess what it is? Hair loss. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. I, I, uh, that. But anyway, anyway, right? Let's 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 get back on this real quick. Anyways, um, being black is dope as shit. It is dope as shit, but right. it's just dangerous. It's dangerous as <laughs> fuck. And mm-hmm. like we laugh about it, but it's like, man, I'm telling you, I'm scared sometimes. Like, mm-hmm. like, don't get me wrong. I'm going to shoot a motherfucker and I'm going to kill him and I'm not going to think twice about it because it's my life or yours. Mm -hmm. But like, I seriously get scared sometimes when I'm driving. I'm like, if I ain't driving in a city, honestly, because 
I don't know. I just think city cops are not. They 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 understand that if, if they if they go if they go wild they know that St. Louis going wild and yeah, so they got, they got bigger fish to fry yeah you know what I'm saying so like I don't I don't feel like drunk ass I'm, <laughs> I'm good with that but like bro I drive through many different municipalities of predominantly white and it is scary it is scary as fuck bro like I don't I don't understand it it just you know, make me feel some type of way. Because you don't want to be, you don't catch the motherfucker having a bad day. <clears throat> That's the thing. Yeah. You don't know who's having a bad day. That's it. Because, like, think about it. Like, who wants that fucking job? Like, I just, dog, I can't think, like, what would make you want to wake up? And that just sounds stressful. And we all know we can die any day. We know. Yeah. But I'm going to have this be my job that this could be the day for a whole bunch of different races. Nah, man, I'm not. I'm not finna beg. I'm not finna. I, there's, I don't. There's not enough on the positive side for me to want to take that risk. I can do something else to make an impact on the neighborhood. I don't need yeah. this job. Then this ain't for you, nigga. This yeah. job was not made for you. Not gonna beat this one. Mm-mm. You can, yeah, yeah. I can make your own. Felicia, I'll call you back. Um, yeah, I can. You know, this, the, even if you make your own, like safety. Net inside of that apartment is still the brass come from a a, a, a line of of uh, perspective on life that's not conducive to your success. The yeah. People that make decisions from a level of school because the hierarchy. I mean, they coming from 30, 40 years of back when, uh, when I see the cop with the old school motherfucking uh, baton still wearing. I said that nigga from the back in the day when whoop <laughs> nigga ass was like motherfucking uh, a star on the hat. <laughs> I said, ooh, that ass, that's thick to whooped over the years. <laughs> Sergeant ass whooping. I see. Man. Your cigar big as a motherfucker. You still smoke. You were smashing your day, boy. Man. And you and I even you realize that in lower position, the motherfucker that won't be security guards. Hey, have I seen the movie? Security guard get murdered first in the movie. Superhero yeah. movies, cartoons. Yeah, all of them. The nigga at the front desk. I'm out. Gone first. I'm, I'm out. not taking that job. <laughs> Fuck that. And that's not a security job I seen that was good unless you was playing security for the rob the bank. Oh my god. <laughs> they get murdered first and Every it's over. Time. Batman, Wonder Woman. When you go on and get the front desk gone. He gone. Not even two thoughts about it. He, he ain't even have a chance to reach for his weapon. He they ain't even, they ain't, they ain't a real tie. He did. That, that's, it's a clip on. They not even you know 21 gun salute. They ain't none of the shit. You ain't got no benefits. You just you work. You work. You, you just you yeah. just a body. You, that's it. A body in the grave. Now that's it. I say no. Nah, I'm cool. Even when I was, when I played security, I didn't want to. But I was young and I knew I wasn't gonna save nothing. So well, God wants you to go home. Let me get out I your way. The I'm not saving I nobody. played security. I, I called I the police. I, I did too. I did too. I quit. Oh yeah. Some. Hey, I'm gonna let you know. I'm I'm here for this training. But if some happen, uh, mass shooting shit, I'm out. Yeah, I, no, they didn't I know, even I, give you a gun. They didn't give you no gun, no nah. handcuffs. So what the fuck am I here to do? I got the radio. Where you at? Cool. I'm going the other way. Yeah, to my car. What the <laughs> fuck? I'm not. I don't need I'm, not job. Do, I'm not doing that. I'm not. It's that was uh definitely that, that, that power. I mean, human beings and power is it's uh it's scary. It's scary, and um and it, it's like it's like carbon monoxide. You just don't know. Is in you till you're dead, and we seen with power. You can you can come in a good person, but the whole motherfuckers a bitch a bunch around you want to see you turn fucking bane, and they want you to want. Hey man, that shit crazy. No only there's no one above corruption from power. Only people that can sort of avoid it when you honest yourself like I am vulnerable to enjoying. It's the fame, the attention, the money, the blah, blah, blah. You have to be real. Like, I could fall. So let me stay around motherfuckers that will not let me do so. But motherfuckers, I'll be fine. I'm, ain't going to happen to me. Oh, you finna hit this shit hard. Hey. <laughs> not me. Oh, not you? That's like, You're next. Like <laughs> Are you a, just saying it was me next? <laughs> yeah. Like a motherfucker saying, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Yeah, <laughs> just, man, just, just play the game. Just play the game, baby. Just play the game. Yeah. It can happen to you. It can happen. They could be your day. It, it definitely can, man. The number can be up. Next thing you know, you in the movie like Soul. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Oh, we go again. Get the camera off of him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good movie, though. This, I, honestly, this, I didn't watch it. I haven't watched it. It was that. good. I like the. I like the movie. Jamie Foxx got bread, but he's so talented. But yeah, he, that was a good movie. Yeah, he movie. talented. He talented as a motherfucker. Um, but okay. So real quick, I was uh, we're talking about black and white. I had uh, <clears throat> I got pulled over, and I was in South County on my way home. Mm-hmm. And I I pulled out of the gas station, and uh, because the cop was pulling in, and because I was talking to my homeboy, I seen the cop. I'm like, well, I don't want to deal with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's always my thought. It's like I'm, enough I don't want to Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I'm finna leave. Mm-hmm. So the cop pulled me over, like two point or uh, point two miles away from the gas station. So he got he, he pulled in the gas station, pulled right out of that motherfucker. Uh, I, you, you just pulled over. All right, man, here we go. Let me say you follow me for two goddamn miles. Listen. That's just so goofy. Just pull Listen. me over when you gonna do it. Over, stress hey, me out, motherfucker. That motherfucker pulled me over. He got behind me. He pulled me over, and I'm like, okay. Um, so I knew my place wasn't legal to my my car yet because mm-hmm. I just got him mm-hmm. right. So I I pull uh. Well, I pull over, dude, come up, and I'm like, motherfucker, what? You know, hear my shit, you know, whatever, whatever. And dude was like, what? what's wrong? I was like, y'all pulling the black man over. You know what Nigga, I'm saying? Nigga, you the like, police, like, what's wrong? Like, what the fuck? Fuck like, me. I know I ain't did nothing wrong. I ain't speed. Suck I ain't did black. nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, he was like, I'm like this is a black ass show. I used to do white bash the whole show. Like, <laughs> you don't get us canceled. <laughs> we can't come to this show no more. <laughs> we'll be with some women back. Nah, we'll look. Back to the whites. If it, there's, you know, there's uh, MDD <sighs> or MADD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, I'm telling you. Yeah. There's M A something mothers against white men because there's there's a lot of white people that they fight for black people more than they fight for white people and i i love it don't get me wrong i love yeah. the shit out of that shit but it'd be funny as fuck sometimes because whatever but this cop he pulls me over and he's like what's that fish for i was like well you just pulled over another black cop he's like well i his place was legal and yours was not. That's why I pulled you over. And I'm like, but I ain't even do shit. Mm-hmm. Then he had the nerve to tell me, oh, well, that gas station is known for uh, drug dealings and <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Can we always say that by any goddamn gas station? I'm like, bruh, I ain't I never. My drug dealers. Yeah, no shit. Like, I ain't never, never, never did no drugs. <laughs> To sell drugs like that, especially yeah, at a gas station. gas station. I don't know how in a new truck. Bold. Like, yeah. like, I'm in a brand new truck. Why would how, I be selling dope in this? How bold are y'all to do drug deals that people can see or even think about in, in public? Excuse me, Dick uh, Dick Tracy. This is not 1932. Like, we're a little more like, sophisticated on our drug deals, bro. Yeah, I know. Sure. I was mad. Yeah. So he was like, "Oh, well." I'm going to run your name. I was like, ain't nothing wrong with my name. I'm good, bro. Like, I live in a county because I can afford to. <laughs> I Meaning, motherfucker, I ain't got to watch behind my back when the cop pulled me over. But, oh shit, because I'm black, I still got to watch for that cop over my shoulder. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, you know, I don't know. It it just, I, I, I try not to see the, you know, the, the disgrace of how we are as black people. Like, I understand that we don't, we don't have what, what white folks had when they had their time. When was they time? I mean, shit, the whole time. <laughs> I mean, they stole time, but when no, was they time? I mean, shit, it, 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 they got everything, right? But we didn't. So we have to go through life at a different angle. And yes. there's 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 this video on YouTube. There's this coach. There's a football coach. Mm-hmm. And he had all of his players line up on a line. At the like the 50 yard line. And he said 
if <clears throat> you didn't have to worry about a meal last night, take 10 free steps. All these white people moved up. Black people didn't. He said, if you had to catch a bus here, or if you didn't have to catch a bus here, you know, take 10 feet steps, you know, and all the black people didn't. And he said all these things. <clears throat> and when you seen it, there was not one black person that moved, but all the white people were here. Mm -hmm. And he said, Let's face it, owning a home today sucks. 12 different accounts to pay your bills, keeping track of documents, filing insurance claims, it's all a big hassle. Lawn care, plumbing leaks, maintenance issues. We could all use a little bit of help. Introducing Home Plan. Manage your home from the comfort of your couch. Pay bills, digitize documents and photos, schedule maintenance, hire contractors, and much more, all in one place, and get back to what matters to you most, your time. Sign up for Home Plan and get a little bit of help when you need it most. It's home management made simple. Visit joinhomeplan.com today. Hey, turn around. Everybody in front, turn around and look, look behind you. And see that all these black people, they didn't have the edge that you guys have today because they didn't have their fathers or, you know, whatever it is because of their skin color. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you could see in some of the white people's faces that, damn, that's sad as fuck. Like, we wouldn't know that. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, and, and it was just, it's just like a, a crazy video because it really lets us know <clears throat> how far behind we are. as. Mm -hmm fucking African Americans mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. crazy bro it's crazy as fuck because even even today I still look at that video and I'm like damn mm -hmm. a lot of those questions I would stay the fuck where I'm at mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's it's the craziest thing <clears throat> to have to go through that just because of the color of my skin yeah you know what I'm saying yeah like I used to have a hard time with that before I had the language language words and language is, is such an important thing to uh experience and try to master because when you don't have the words for things you have emotions you don't know how to to relate or, or bridle you know what i'm saying because yeah. emotions like emotions like i use that analogy even when i was a young boy i use them and i was like you know your emotions like wild horses but you but your 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 investment education in words and language allows you to to put those that horsepower to to a chariot. Now yeah. you can you can channel it. You can express it. You can build bridges with it. But you, you have, don't have the language or the emotional intelligence that comes with a lot of time with self and guidance. We don't have mentors like that. If you any anybody white that I hang out with is doing something, they have some form of a mentor. If it's not. Uh, uncle with a business or they have a dad like, there's the mentorship on how to be something i've never seen we don't have mentor because the, the home we come from are often fragmented and we in survival mode they're often moving from a position of thriving to where you can't dream in chaos it's very rare you can beat the odds because the odds are stacked against you about shit that you didn't have nothing to do with to to beat the mode to be the you know like 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 the joke from Chris Rock he lived in a neighborhood that's exclusive but the white guy is a dentist he had to be the best comedian ever <laughs> Mary J had to be the best R and B singer ever debatably Jay Z had to be the best rapper ever to get in the neighborhood he just the dentist yeah. he's my neighbor we we in the same neighborhood he just a dentist and it but the but the but the more time you can sort of remove yourself from the emotional um. Uh, what's in your face and really have a context of how this world was created based on what we can gather because we so much we don't know we never know and it's the way human civilization go we can see oh this is a series of human beings being humans that saw value in a crop and who don't want free labor if I could if I have legislation if I have a, a word document or this 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 religious um concoction of, of thoughts with no dates and just say yeah. if I can believe in this lie I can believe in any lie because it has no fucking concrete even though you know, Islam has its flaws being the, the last of the big three but at least it has I say the person that it surrounded was do have what's actually here we got some receipts yeah he has some pretty nice writing <laughs> like education for the most part 
All I saw was they got a whole, they got fighting the Christians and the shit turned. They was uh-huh. doing good to the Christians. I was like, these Christians really you know fuck some shit up. I'm looking, I'm scrolling through the history books. Woo, yeah, not y'all looking real guilty. The Jews, y'all cool. Cause uh-huh. a lot of shit y'all go through because these Christians, we back to this Christian shit again. So once again, ain't no date to this book. <laughs> so nobody that wrote this shit was there with the person they wrote about. Did y'all know Jesus couldn't even get into the club because he's Jewish? I'm just saying, make it make sense. And that's why I didn't get old girl because I try to make it make sense. And sometimes you just got to fuck through it. You man, know? you just got to let, <sighs> let it let it be. So if you can lie to yourself about that, you can lie to yourself about anything. Okay, well, I got, I got land. I got some boats. I got some... Wait a minute. You ain't going to pay that nothing? Yeah. yeah. We tried yeah, with the natives. They wouldn't make but you darkies is y'all. Y'all, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, all right. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> the, the first, the first motherfucker found that out. Right. And like, you know it, what it's I'm so saying? fun. Like it's so fun. Like to think. Like you know, a bunch of different cultures been here to America before the others came, but they homes was nice. Africa's a pretty nice place most of the time. You know, pretty yeah. sunny and shit. You got lions and tigers. Better than what they show you. Europe really is not very. Doesn't look very hospitable. A lot of rocks and bad weather. I want to travel too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if I leave Africa, I'm probably going back because it's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> but all right. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'm going to leave. <laughs> leave Africa. I'm probably going back. All right. Like, oh, if I got to leave, all right. I'm going I'm to I'm yeah. make that flight and go right back. I'm going to stop off here. And then I'm gonna come on back real quick. I have understanding you know that saying? you know the earth, I need the earth. Earth don't work for me. I work for the earth. Man. You know we have a little bit more give and take. Well, you got to take as rocks, ice, and mountains. You probably don't give a fuck about shit else because yeah, shit. Cold hearted from the <laughs> cold start. hard from the start. <laughs> the Caucasus Mountains. Like this is a horrible terrain. The fuck y'all up here for? This is no tra- the weather I went was mad. This weather's trash. All the weather through Europe is trash. Only oh part that was good was southern God. Italy. You see what they call them motherfuckers down there? Because oh. it was nice down there. Oh my God. I can't do this. <laughs> this dude then went off. <laughs> y'all know I like to read my history books. Like my sh- you know, I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. Me, I'm just saying. He didn't went. Oh, I've, I've I've checked some records and I'm. Yeah. I was just I was just trying to you know. Like, going, I'm sorry, <laughs> my dude. Hey, mm-hmm. I'm not mad about it though. I'm not mad about it because you know, like it just there's a lot. You know, there's yeah. a lot with with uh, Black History and us not knowing a lot of shit. By the time we get out of high school, right? We know everything about the white way. Ah uh, yes. Here we go again. And we're back. You know, we know about the the white way, but we mm-hmm. don't know nothing about us. So why mm-hmm. are we being, you know, and some of us really really need it. I mean, all of us need it, but like some of us cuz we don't we don't fit in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We don't fit in with certain shit like this ain't this ain't it. Like mm-hmm. I need there, I need you can't to understand. Go here, you can't go there. Like yeah. God damn it, I'm sort of stuck between yeah. two worlds. I need to understand where I am, who I am, mm-hmm. and I need to do that by knowing my history. Yeah, and we don't get that, you know, at all. Mm-hmm. And for, and I, I mean, fucking Black History Month, one one, you know, one month a year. Like, honestly, Black History Month should be. Every fucking like day of the year. Every month. Yeah. You know, every day of the year. It wouldn't be none like, of this shit if we weren't yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of shit. Out that business. Yeah. There's a lot of Punching. shit that wouldn't be, you know, be here because of black people. Mm-hmm. If it wasn't for black people. Mm-hmm. Like, we did shit. We did great shit. And we are not being recognized for it. And as other- Jake Daniels, a black man. No, Ernest, 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 Ernest was it? Ernest name was Ernest. So the the the, the slave that gave Jake Daniels the recipe name is Ernest. Ernest has his own. Uh, there's a black woman that that owns that brand, and it's called it's called Ernest. It's a it's a whiskey brand. Damn, I should I should probably start. I should probably, we should probably start drinking it. I think we should. Oh, uh, we gonna start Jack. I like Jack. Hey, dance. Oh. Fuck yourself. <laughs> What's up, Lean? How you doing, baby girl? Uh, she down there in Atlanta. She living her best life. That's my little cousin. Shout out to you. I love you, girl. Whiskey. Ernest White. Who the fuck is that? Ernest. <laughs> Ernest. Her name is uh, 
It's, it's uh, what's it called? It's called um, mm, 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 mm. Uncle Nearest, Uncle Nearest Premium Whiskey. So Uncle Nearest was uh the black man that told uh Jack Daniels how to make his whiskey. Uh, no shit. Yeah, Uncle Ernest. <laughs> of course, it's Uncle Ernest. And I'm sorry, it Nearest. Be. It ain't even Uncle, Uncle Ernest. Nearest. It's Nearest. Like that's a slave ass name. <laughs> <laughs> My name Uncle Nearest. Buddy. Oh my God. Well, his name is Nearest Green. Nearest Green. I can't his name. And on. he and he was the creator of Oh shit. What are we doing? Yeah, Nearest Green is uh he's uh he's the one that put up Jack Daniels on the fucking map. He gave, you know, back in eighteen fifty six. Before the goddamn Civil War, because Civil War was 1865. Yeah, 1865. So if you in Tennessee in 19, 1856, guess what you're not doing? Speaking up. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Jack. It's a great idea. Oh, my God. You sure had to do this, son. Yeah, my dear Lord. I can't do it. Speaking up. You know what? That's good. I can't. I can't. Believe you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you're not doing, speaking of, <laughs> sir. <laughs> You've been sitting that picture close to the nigga that you, that's making Front it. Son of a bitch. Yeah, what, a, look, what a dickhead. Like, man. Oh, man. Hey, man. If you, man, history is. I've, I've learned some. I used to be a big anti YouTube person. I used to be. A, I used to think it was like the best history shows were like on TV. Yeah. Now maybe this, this the world has changed and we have so much dilution in entertainment with uh, everybody has a streaming channel and cable and blah blah blah. But you two have some amazing channels about history that isn't always the most longest and impactful, but very educational. I learned about so much shit and I can easily now this is the biggest thing I always say if I was to have children, which I will not. But when I get back to the position of of teaching the youth, which should be soon. It's always good to have learn how to ask questions, like good questions. I mean, I don't think that's that's the thing is a bad question, but some questions. It just depends on what the topic is of the question. You yeah, know what I'm saying? like I mean, critical thinking course. is yes, critical yes, thinking yes, is the go. point. Like we should get away from cookie cutter. Everyone fall in line to like think for yourself and don't punish those for thinking for themselves. I yeah. have a question that's valid. If you don't have, it's okay to say I don't know. I don't know, but let me. Learn how to research and find out the answer, and not just run to Google and assume the first answer you get is the right answer. Like this, this, this yeah. Gotta, because I mean, if, if you don't, and turn. if you don't, uh, but if you don't know any different, you know, if you don't know any better, you know, why, why the first, normally the first thing to look at is they say the right thing to look at, but but we gotta remember that Google is a business. And there's a way you can manipulate SEOs and make yeah, your with money. Yeah, right. So you gotta be mindful. Like, don't use the first source as your only source. We you, we all have done papers in high school, college. You can't use one source. Most papers ask for multiple sources. Even and you gotta have multiple sources, right? You gotta be able to look from different angles about whatever you learn about. Because guess what? Everybody's not gonna look at Egyptian history the same way. So it's always one a thousand ways to approach a certain thing. I've learned more things about certain topics from hearing different point of views I, that I thought I knew. Was, oh, wow. Huh. This shit, that, I mean, it's 5,000 years of fucking history. And they got receipts. Yeah. So, oh, excuse me, Bible people. So, where does Egypt and all that history fit into this world only being a couple thousand years old? I'm just asking questions. So, we just don't not you well, acknowledge, you just know, ignore all that I'm, stuff. Hey, guys, the pyramid wasn't built by slaves. They were employees. They was employees by the king, for the record. So the whole Ten Commandments, splitting the Red Sea, Israel. I'm just saying that probably was a lie. Anywho, (laughs) just saying. Uh, Oh, that's some facts. Oh, man. Some seats. And also, hey, Egyptians are black. Egypt's in North Africa. I don't know why. If you ever look at it, it's always like this mystical land that's just north of the rest of the Africa, I'm like, why y'all keep talking about Egypt like it's not part of Africa? They black people too. It's just yeah. black people with some some Mediterranean salt. With That's some, some sea salt. Let's see. With some sea salt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Some Dominican sea salt. Oh man, Jesus Christ! Why are you so mean? I'm sorry. 
Ah, dude. Anywho, uh, <laughs> that's you know that's that's how I feel about um, life, uh, being black and dealing with white folks every hey, day. What 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 uh? If you went to HBC, HBCU, what fraternity do you think you would have joined? You probably would have been a Q because you a dirty ass. Man. He's a dirty dog. You'd wow. Wait, whoa, whoa, been, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> nah, they don't that even feel like they did. Nah, nah, nah. They you had a whole Omega. You'd have been a Q. They, 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 too, they too aggressive. I think I would have been like, uh, I'd have been a Kappa. I, I was thinking I'd have been a Kappa too. I'd have been a Kappa. Yeah, Man. I thought I was too cute. I, I mean, I've never played. I know I was. Like, like, hey. Hey. I know. I said, I, I know. I know. I was too cute, goddamn me. I would have been a cap. I'd have been. I'd have made. I'd have made big dog ASAP. <laughs> that's that's the other thing I definitely miss. I wish I had a chance to be in a fraternity. Yeah, man. It there's a lot. There's a lot that it could teach you, man. Mm-hmm. Like, um, and I hate that we really didn't get, we didn't really get that situation uh, growing up. Everything was about all these white schools, and oh, you should go to Princeton. No, bitch, I can get the same education at Morehouse, or because it's all guys, we don't want to go to Morehouse. But <laughs> right, no, I didn't go. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? Like there, there, there were ways. Um, just because you know going to an HBCU wasn't as lively as a Princeton or Yale or mm-hmm. whatever it is, doesn't mean that it's not just as plentiful as those colleges. Because, um, let me tell you, uh, Shaq, Shaq's son and daughter both committed to uh, HBCUs. And mm-hmm. let me tell you, they could have went anywhere. They didn't, they didn't have to go to an HBCU. They went to HBCUs, and I'm starting to see that there are a few, a uh, few other, you know, high school. I think we've been an Alpha, maybe. What I've been an Alpha. Yeah, it's tough. No, you wouldn't have been Alpha. Yeah, I think I'd have been Kappa. I'd have been Kappa. Yeah, I would have been Cap Kappa Alpha Psi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I can't. I hate this guy. <laughs> I hate it here. I hate everything about this. This is I'm not sorry. What it is. I'm sorry. But you know, let me let me tell you, you know, real quick that uh people that uh, went to some HBCUs. Um, Keenan Ivory Waynes. Yep. You know, he went to an HBCU. Black Panther. He went to Spellman. Mm-hmm. Black uh, Panther went to Howard. Black Panther went to Howard. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Denzel went to Howard. No, Denzel went to. K. Michelle went to Florida A&M. Yep. And she was uh, a Delta Sigma Theta in sorority. Ooh, she got some boxes. Yeah. Keisha Pillman. Look at her. She she was a, a data sigma, sigma theta, and she went to Spelman. Across street from Morehouse, yep. Yeah. Wendy Raquel Robinson. You don't know her. You know her. First of all, she she was Steve Harvey's crush, and goddamn me, uh, what was his TV show that he had? Him and Cedric, the entertainer, they was coaches. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she was the Regina, pre- Regina, 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 yes, Regina King, <laughs> the Steve Harvey show. Yes, yeah, she went King. to she Fine went to ass. Howard. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I went so, to Howard. Howard seems to be either Howard or Hampton, but Howard seems to be like what well, Howard's in DC. Wanda went to uh, Hampton, and Oprah mm-hmm. went to Tennessee State. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot. Uh, Latanya and uh, Samuel went to Morehouse. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, no, wait, Richardson, she graduated from Spelman, and he went to Morehouse. So, you know, there's there's a lot 
uh, who I call you, my big buddy, uh, Ruben Stutter. No, oh, <laughs> sorry, 2004. He went to Alabama a and U. This is my sorry for uh, 2004. <laughs> now I ain't no mess of but, no more. So this the year. fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm sorry, no, but listen, I'm stop. sorry. Look, stop. <laughs> But no, there there's a lot, and I wish these people would have spoke up, spoke out about their HBCU experiences, you know, back then, so people could understand it. I mean, think about it, they had social media back then, and people still, yeah, you, still had, you, still, you, still, you still had you still had gatekeepers to information. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, think about all like Felice Rashad is the dean of. Uh, something at Howard is she really? Yeah, so she's the no dean. Shit. Of uh, that was a theater and like a she's a dean of something how right you know that, that means something like I want to go back yeah. to see cross colors and back with what was oh, the show yeah. with the Cosby kids uh different strokes different, I mean no, uh, no that was uh, a different world different world yeah yeah, yeah, different world. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that kind of stuff like you just have to expose you have to you have to know you have to I get some black shit in here God damn it yeah like it's 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 real shit man like there's a lot about it and I wish that we would have. Knowing about it a lot sooner than I'm gonna get. I'm gonna donate some uh, money and get me a doctorate. I'm get, I, got, I, got, I got a couple years still. You got it. You still by forty five, I have to, look. by forty five. I have no money to say I'm gonna donate enough to get me a, a honorary doctorate to Howard University. <laughs> <laughs> if Charlemagne can get one, it cost him what two fifty. Wow. It's, oh, he gave to us. He gave to his mom's alma mater, South Carolina A and T, whatever the South Carolina school is, quarter million. Okay, so I need to go at least three fifty. Hey, listen, by forty five, he's forty three. If I do, if I, if I, do, if I pay myself out, I'll go really we're hard. We not doing it. with this dude. We <laughs> not doing Doctor this Marcus Onesimus a, Boston. Doctor Mob. All of those shits. Doctor Mob. It. Yep. We didn't. We didn't already talked about this. I told you we got to cut that shit short. <laughs> like, <laughs> give me a doctor. We got to. Well, like we got Doctor Bay. I'm be Doctor Boo. I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Okay. Oh, we shouldn't listen. Hey, Sylvia, how you doing? Hey, hey Nick, what's up? Angie, Bruce, how y'all doing? Louis and Trey, I need some. I need some new tires, but I gotta wait. They expensive as fuck. Mm-hmm. Uh, but listen, real quick, Erica Badu went to Grambling State. Yep. Uh, before she started to pursue her uh, music career, uh, that's crazy. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? There's there's still, a, there's a lot of people here, you know, uh, as the role. Um, oh, nothing, nothing. Good time. Yes, yes. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> she went to Spelman and then she eventually went to Yale and mm-hmm. I briefly attended Hunter College. So there's a lot. And I wish that we can um, expose this a lot more. And it's becoming, it's becoming a lot. Uh, well, we're going we to work on getting some HBCU, HBCU grads in here. I know Nico the Great, he went to Lincoln. Oh, uh, straight up. So I, yeah, I, I hit know, him up. He got some dope. His podcast though, of, ethnic, uh, people. Ish, ethnic-ish and more. Yeah, man. We, we'll we we'll definitely have to, we'll have to definitely get that together. Um, Because I love it. I want to see it. I think that there's a lot to be talked about in that situation. Uh, and, uh, but yeah, so listen about owning homes. I think I want to, I want to buy the house that I'm living in Mm -hmm. and, uh, only because I'm single and Mm -hmm. it's, it's just good for me and Gianna. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there's a lot of things to, we got to worry about as far as homeowners. So, Mm -hmm. uh, let's face it with home plan. We got a home plan today. That owning a home today sucks. And 12 accounts, you pay your bills, you're tracking your documents, filing insurance claims. It's all a big hassle. We know that. Uh, Lawn care, plumbing leaks, maintenance issues, we could all use a little bit of help. So introducing home plan to help manage your home with the comfort or uh, from the comfort of your own couch. Pay bills, digitize documents and photos. Uh, scheduled maintenance, hire contractors, and more. Sign up for home plan and get a little bit of help when needed the most. It's a uh, home management made simple. So please join home plan at joinhomeplan.com today. Damn right. 
Amen to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Join goddamn home playing. Yeah, love home those playing. That that's, love that's, us. that's from that's from the guy, man, Sebastian. He's also a fellow guy here. Uh so we gotta represent the best we can. Join home playing. See what you can do, see what it could do for you. Check it's it early. Out. We're starting up, so get yeah. early access. We got some big shit coming. So Yeah. So get it together. We can make it work. Get used uh, to hearing at home playing on your shit. I mean, the biggest shit you own is going to be your home. So might as well make it easy. <laughs> might as well make it easy. So uh, thank you guys for Amen tuning in. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in today. And uh, this is the boat. This is your Captain RJ. You gonna give us a closing quote? What kind of shit is this? What kind of shit? Kind of ship I'm running around here. Kind of dock I'm running. Well, I got one, but I ain't got one. I missed it. Mm. I had it saved, and I don't know. All right, here we go. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, help a brother out. I I missed love. It'd be the road to happiness, but most times. Happy to you right to the doorstep of love because only happy people can be in love. So you got if you don't love yourself, there's no way you can love another. Because you you just plan on quicksand. You can't build in chaos. You can't love doing tragedy. So once again, love yourself, love each other. Love is all we got. And I'm going I'm to go ahead and say it funny because he sound like Buddy Love and Fest <laughs> Club. <laughs> so. Man, buddy Love. Oh, my God. God. I'm so sorry, bro. That was so great. That was so great. Let, let that, there you go. And we got that for him because that was really, that was really great. It was. It was. Uh I gotta give a big shout out to my big homie, man, Marcus. He is he's always there when you need him, man. He's like all state. I'm always in good hands <laughs> when I win it. So listen, my dude, like straight up, that's my dude, man. Like he there, we cool, we chill, we love it. Like it's great times, man. Like so I I wanna thank him again for being a guest on the boat, <clears throat> being that uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know but uh yeah man so that's my guy i love y'all thanks for watching tune in uh and shoot me any questions y'all have about the show i can uh tell me to find you instagram I, I, yeah 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 <laughs> i got to, you didn't even let me you know like finish like i didn't even start it but so yeah, y'all can find me on Facebook at boat underscore three one four. That's on the Facebook and IG, and then you can look up my my personal IGs at RJ Dunn, uh, or Dunn R Dunn ninety five nineteen eighty five because I fucked that all the way up. R Dunn nineteen eighty five, and then on Facebook at RJ Dunn. Uh, yeah, the jail now, y'all. I'm out of jail for the third time in three months. Thirty day bans. Woo woo. I mean, I'm your West Coast bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing but a gangster party. Oh party. fucking day! <laughs> Shout out, hey R.I.P. Tupac. We love you, baby. Hey, this is going down. I love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, nah, bro. Nah, we gotta go. Tupac, if you gonna I don't do have, something, I don't have that queued up, sir. Uh, you like gonna it. have to. Listen, yeah, listen. Sorry, listen. Tupac. Next time, <laughs> next time we got it. But me, big shout out to Marcus. Thank you for showing up, brother. We love you. That's <laughs> my <laughs> But y'all enjoy. Thank you for your whiskey. And uh, I'll see y'all later. This is. Let's face it, owning a home today sucks. 12 different accounts to pay your bills, keeping track of documents, filing insurance claims, it's all a big hassle. Lawn care, plumbing leaks, maintenance issues. We could all use a little bit of help. Introducing Home Plan. Manage your home from the comfort of your couch. 
pay bills, digitize documents and photos, schedule maintenance, hire contractors, and much more, all in one place, and get back to what matters to you most, your time. Sign up for Home Plan and get a little bit of help when you need it most. It's home management made simple. Visit joinhomeplan.com today.